What is the uh, single most important issue uh, you'll be discussing with voters in the closing days of this campaign? Well, unquestionably, it's our health. And, and what that means is twofold. First of all, it means we need to empower public health experts and medical experts to lead us out of this pandemic. My wife's an OBGYN doctor here in Atlanta. The doctors and nurses and epidemiologists have been doing their jobs. It's politicians like David Perdue who have failed us. We need to empower medical experts to get us out of this crisis. And we need to make sure that every single family here can afford health care. Even in the middle of this pandemic, David Perdue is trying to destroy the protections for pre-existing conditions. He's carrying water for the insurance industry because of their corrupt influence in Washington. He is the embodiment of everything wrong with our politics right now. Division, fear, and corruption. And Georgia has had enough. What do you think is going to make the difference uh, when the votes are finally counted here? Is this going to be what you're able to do for on turnout versus what the Republican Party is able to do on turnout? Look, a lot of this is going to come down to whether or not we can protect and expand ballot access. There are black voters here in Georgia who are being made to wait 12 hours in line to vote early. I got my start in public service working for Congressman John Lewis, a man who had his skull fractured marching for voting rights 55 years ago. That there are still officials in this country who abuse their authority to disenfranchise people is deeply wrong. It's why we need a new Voting Rights Act, and it's why I need help to resource our voter protection effort. And I'm asking people across the country to log on to electjohn.com and help us do that so we can win this race, restore decency to government, and protect voting rights. What are we seeing in the day to day behavior on early voting? Are people getting discouraged by those lines or are those lines just reappearing every day? That's the inspiring thing, Lawrence, is that the people are undeterred by the obstacles that are put in their path to vote. When people become aware that someone is trying to take away their sacred, hard fought rights, we are only galvanized in our determination to exercise those rights and in so doing to defend those rights. And it is so inspiring to see people standing in line, persisting to cast their ballot. 